all right so before this video even starts i just want to say the fact that the parts that were on this bag were not provided by me at all and luckily this fire happened outside as well which means everybody was safe and they had their own space and there was no damage caused to the environment whatsoever as well as firefighters were called as soon as this fire started to happen and also this bag that caught on fire how it even started was i built my own personal 3000 watt which was a 72 volt and it was amazing and then i take it to a bike shop and it gets robbed but not by the bike shop but by a person so i would say right place wrong time now this person took my personal electric bike the 3000 watt which i only had for 10 minutes and then he just rolled off with that bike on how that happened you can watch my previous video and you'll find out more information even a video a cctv video of what happened so then after he left with my bike i took his bike which was sitting on the floor here's a picture of it and then i took that bike and i used it for my personal use so because the bike was in basically in working condition not in the best condition at all but in working condition is why i decided to use it apart from the little bits that i've changed around which like for example the brakes because they were squeaking they weren't even working so that was a safety hazard so I changed the brakes, but everything else stayed on there. By everything else, I mean the battery and kit was stock. I did change a few bits around on the bike and not replace them, but I just, you know, put parts somewhere else around the bike. So I took the controller from inside the battery bag. I put it underneath the frame so it has more uh, fresh air. That way it doesn't overheat. And in the process of doing that, I saw the battery. Now this battery, I'm not sure where this guy got it from or if he even built it himself but it was some sketchy battery that's all i can say it was wrapped up in white foam with electrical tape that's how bad it was but yeah after the battery got on fire i i kicked it off i got it off the bike and then i moved the bike away and i managed to save everything off the bike but you know like the motor and controller i'm never gonna risk using so i threw everything away um like you're about to see in the video, I stripped the whole bike and I would, you know, just sand it and re spray paint it so I can use it for a 3000 watt build, which you will get to see on the next video the fin for the final result. But yeah, I just want to double clarify and, you know, just put it out there. That was not my battery, that was not my kit. That was simply everything that was on the bike originally from that person that stole my bike and then i ended up taking his afterwards but yeah now just watch the next bits where i stripped the bike apart i signed it and i respray paint it and in the next video i'll be converting it to a 3000 watt which will be the final series all right so here's the result of the bike after the fire as you can see this is where the fire has happened and he has I mean, it hasn't damaged the cables, but the control is definitely damaged as it probably caused some short circuit on the inside. And the throttle cable is fully burned off as well. So that's definitely not reusable. Now, if you're also wondering about the back motor, it's a 1052 volt. And over here we have the grips, which are fully worn off. And we also have an MT401 brake, but it's got some cheap brake pads that I got from like a bike shop. And what happens when I do wheelies or ride fast is that um, the brake fades, the power fades away. So you can't really stop anymore using these brakes. Well, brake pads. I mean, the throttle still works smoothly, but you know, it's not gonna work because of the burn cable. In the meantime, let's get to removing a lot of the parts like the motor, seats, bars, probably sand and respray paint the whole frame because as you can see is the guy that spray painted is black. I mean, didn't do quite a good job. So the the paint is kind of rubbing off. And I also use Torcoms, but these Torcoms are not the best. So I already ordered high quality steel Torcoms, which I will be installing on this. And if I didn't mention this already, but I'll be converting this to a 3000 watt 72 volt e-bike. So 72 volt 20 amp hour is gonna go in there. And a 3000 watt 72 volt 26 inch is gonna go in there. As for the other parts, I will not tell you what I got and you will see that on the next video, which I will upload hopefully the next week. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's go to removing a lot of the parts and get ready for the rebuild all right so let's get to stripping of course that's rounded let's start off with cutting the zip ties all right now that the control is here yeah i'll just i think we should just come out if i do this maybe not 
now it's time to get rid of the old grips i'll be replacing the handlebars anyway but i like cutting grips so i'm gonna do this next step is to remove the throttle which i don't even know why i need to remove individual parts because i'm going to be removing the handlebars anyway but i need to remove the back brake so it doesn't stay with the handlebars because i might use that on another build since the back brake works perfectly fine there we go the throttle is off now okay maybe i should also get rid of the front brake because it's embedded with the shifter which looks very ugly and it's not going to look good on a three kilowatt so I don't know what to do about this but i'll come up with a solution all right so the last few things i'm going to do off camera is just remove the back brake remove the handlebars and also remove the motor so if you double tap on the screen right now you're going to be at the bit where the frame is just by itself so this is the final result but as you can see it looks a bit messy so let's clean that up there we go that's the back in its current condition it's time to remove the pegs which is the last step and then spray paint the whole frame i really don't know what color to spray paint the frame to so i will probably make it black up here and then gradually it will become blue at the end i'm not sure how that's going to match with the mtx red rim stickers so that's what's actually making me stick to just black but i really don't know what color i should make this oh yeah and for better visuals that's how it's gonna look when I spray paint it, which I just realized it kind of reminds me of my Specialized, but nothing will ever replace that bike. All right, so I sand it down the frame. Here's what the bike is looking like so far. There's little bits and cracks that I can't get into, like over there, but I mean, I'm gonna put a mud guard anyway, so I won't be able to see the bad spray paint job over there. But I made sure to get the sides nicely done because that's where all the videos will be coming from. And also the colors I went for is silver and glossy black. The only reason I got silver and glossy black is because the stem I got for the bike is black here and then silver at the end over here. So I thought the silver would match nicely with the silver frame and then gradually the frame will become black. And I also just realized but my pegs will match the frame as well. So it should all turn out well. But right now i'm gonna rinse the bike off camera as well as spray paint it. all right so here's the bike fully spray painted i've also put a layer of clear coat to make it a bit more durable but right now it feels sticky so from tutorial videos and from past experience um i have to let it dry so that way it becomes uh, hard and doesn't stay sticky and you know weak but yeah like i said i was gonna go with the silver and then the black which turned out all right i tried to make it a bit fady around here and that turned out not too bad so so far so good now let's just wait for all of this to dry and then install the parts so yeah thank you so much for watching like i mentioned before this will only be a video where i strip the bike apart and respray paint it and in the next video i'll be putting the bike together so you can see the final result but yeah if you have any recommendations on what parts i should get let me know because i will definitely buy them in the meantime stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching